So the linear equation of any line, not just perpendicular lines, is always going to be y equals mx plus b. And so really your job is to find m and b. And once you find m and b, you're totally done. You know, you've probably learned this in previous videos, like with parallel lines. Really, we're just trying to find m and b. And so the one thing about perpendicular lines is if they give me a line perpendicular to my line, I can that's sort of a clue into what my slope is. And if you remember, perpendicular lines have negative reciprocal slopes. So for example, if they said they have a line with the slope 2 thirds and my line is perpendicular to him, my line would be the flip of it, 3 over 2, and the opposite sign. Since he's positive, mine is negative. Right? Another example, uh, let's say they gave me a slope where they had negative 2 was their slope and mine was perpendicular to that. Well, I know all slopes are fractions, so this is over 1. If theirs is negative 2 over 1, mine would be positive 1 over 2. So the first thing you need to know is that perpendicular lines, it's easy to find our slope if we're perp to someone because we flip their slope and change the sign. So that's the first thing. And so then finding b is a whole nother battle. So let's get into that. So here's a, here's a classic example of writing a linear equation from a perpendicular line. Right, so they may something like, say something like this. Find the linear equation of a line that is perpendicular to this line and it goes through this point. And really remember, our job is to find m and b. And so far, they gave me neither. So right, I have to solve backwards. Well, actually, they sort of gave me my slope because if, the, if my line is perpendicular to this line, I can take his slope, which I see right here, his slope was negative a half. Couldn't I flip it and change the sign? Positive 2 over 1, or in other words, just 2, and that is my slope. So that's exactly what you do. You take their slope, you flip it, and change the sign, and now it's your slope. I could write 2 over 1, but 2 is the same thing, right? And now, if I actually went and plugged that back into y equals mx plus b, I have y equals 2x plus b, right? My m was 2, it goes in here. So now what about my b? Here I have three variables, too many. I can't, I have no idea what to do. Well, if I could plug in an x and I could plug in a y, I could solve for b. That's exactly what I have in a point. I have an x and I have a y. Let's plug them in and solve for b. So this is my y, it goes in here. So I have 10 equals 2 times my x value, looks like 6 plus b. 10 equals 12 plus b minus my 12 minus my 12. Looks like negative 2 is b. And doesn't that mean I'm actually totally done? Remember, I said that if I could find m and b, I'm done. So let's do that. We know our two most important um, numbers here. And I'll just plug them back in to have the final solution. Right? So here we have y equals mx plus b. In this case, it's a minus 2 is our b. So that's it. So there is our linear equation for a line that is perpendicular to this guy, right, perp to him, and it goes through this point. So that was all we did. We stole his slope, flipped it, changed the sign, and then used our x and our y to solve for b. Okay, so kind of like with parallel lines, there's also a weird exception, kind of a weird interesting problem for perpendicular lines, right? And it has to do with horizontal and vertical lines. So here's the weird case that I think is kind of easy, but it's so different that everybody gets them wrong. So here's what they look like. Okay, so this might be it. It might say, find me the equation of a line that is perpendicular to this line and goes through the point 0.26. And remember, this is totally weird. This doesn't look like a line. It doesn't look like what's my m and my b. You know, Ryan taught me y equals some slope x plus something. This is totally different. Well, remember, anytime you have x equals some value, that actually represents a vertical line. x is 3, 1, 2, 3. x is always 3, so no matter what your y value is, you're going to have x is 3. Y is negative, doesn't matter, x is 3. So this is a vertical line. And if you think about it, isn't it true that for a line to be perpendicular to a vertical line, it would have to be a horizontal line. And if you remember from earlier videos, horizontal lines, the formula is y equals something. I don't know yet what that is, but I do know that y equals some value, right? By definition, if this is vertical, which it is, our line has to be horizontal to be perpendicular to him. Now, we said it had to be, if the x is 3, ours is going to be y equals something. You simply take your y value from your point and stick it in there and you're totally done. Not this, that's your x value, y is 6. The line y equals 6 is definitely perpendicular to the line x equals 3, and it goes through our point, sure enough, because that's where we got our y value, right? So that's why these are weird. I mean, it's kind of easy once you get good at them, because you say, 
perpendicular to x is 3, then it would be y equals 6, done, right? So now let me do the opposite case, which also comes up. Okay, what if they said, find me a line that's perpendicular to y is 1, and it goes through the point negative 3, 7. Same thing, we know definitely that y is 1, that is a, up here, no matter what x is, y is 1, that's a horizontal line, right? And we know that our line, if it's going to be perpendicular to a horizontal line, has to be a vertical line, right? And knowing that if y equals something is the equation of a, uh, a horizontal line, then we know that x equals something has to be our equation because it has to be exactly uh, perpendicular to him. And then we just come in here and we steal our x value and we're done. We don't care what the y value is. We know that perpendicular to y equals something is x equals something. Horizontal line, vertical line. x equals what exactly? That's where the point comes in. So yes, He's perpendicular to him, and he goes through the point negative 3, 7. So if we actually graphed it, which it does not ask to do that, you would know that it's actually over here. 1, 2, 3, negative 3, and it would look like this. And yes, that totally crosses at exactly 90, so he is perpendicular. So I think those are weird, but I think they're easy. If you did a bunch, you'd get really good at them, and you can kind of do them, frankly, in your head. So that's how you find the linear equation of perpendicular line. Typically, you will need your m and your b. And, you know, you'll get your M by taking the negative reciprocal of someone that's perpendicular to you. And then you'll solve for your B using a point. Or if it's a vertical or a horizontal line, you do this cool trick I showed you and you'll be super cool with your friends. All right. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video.